Stowe continues its winter carnival this weekend with its 22nd annual ice carving competition. ABC 22 Sam Israel was there to show us some of those sculptures. Those in Stowe showed out for this year's ice competition. Let's go check out some of these cool creations. It was packed crowds at the Alchemist Brewery on competition day. And the ice sculptors put on a show. Stowe is always putting on stuff like this and the Alchemist and it's fun to come out here with a little bit of music and and uh, just see the cool ice sculptures. It's kind of amazing kind of stuff they can do. Which um, one do you like, Blake? No. Your favorite? Rabbit and the tortoise. Some who also came out last year were relieved to find warmer weather this time. Last year it was negative 24. Extremely cold. This year, so much better. The day started with an amateur competition, followed by a professional competition and a speed round. And for the amateurs? In first place, Jacob Hughes. Congratulations. I, I'm amazed at how the piece turned out. I honestly did not think it would turn out as well as it did. I thought it would crash. His sculpture featured an eagle flying over mountain peaks. My dad's always been an artist. He was uh, ever since I was born. So it, that th that idea of sculpting has always just really been in my life since the beginning. And as for his father. Second place, Sean Grenier. Putting Evan Hughes in first place. He took home the professional competition honors. I love coming to this event. This is something I've done. This I think this is my fifth or sixth time here. The last two years, my piece crashed, and so it's really, uh, you know, big for me that not only my piece st stayed together, but that I actually won it. I got in first place. Like father, like son, a family that dominated the competitions. It's always fun seeing, you know, following your dad's footsteps, and also I bet I bet he's pretty proud too. Oh, I'm so proud. Um, you know, just to see what he's. Turn into a 17-year-old son. You never know uh, what, what, what's going to happen to the teenage years, but uh, I'm super proud of him. Organizers of the event say this is a higher turnout than they've seen in years past, and they hope to continue the event for years to come. Reporting in Stowe, Sam Israel, ABC 22 News.